Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven, and we're back with the putty cat. And uh, she was playing hard to get again. So uh, we're rolling over. We're rolling over to an alternator. We got Hamlet, the official racer on the channel. His race car is right out here. That's the race car. We've done a bunch of videos on his car. So definitely check that out. We'll put that up here in the corner. You can check that out. So, uh, well, let's dig in. So what are we doing here? We got, this is like a 70s style alternator, GM alternator. It's a, called a 10SI. And uh, luckily we got a lot of info from the guys on the Cadillac forms. That's how uh, we're able to do this. So we're going to take you through this. So what do we got here? This is a... A pigtail for the alternator. All right, pigtail, which goes in on the other side. Right there, just plugs and plays. Perfect, all right. Then we got to upgrade our power wire so that we can uh, charge our battery efficiently. All right, so we got a thicker uh, four gauge wire. Perfect. And that's right here on the power, the red right, battery. We're gonna take off the old one first before we start the new one. All right. So we already got an upgraded battery. And uh, the reason why I'm switching over is because I'm gonna show the clip right now. I actually started smoking the generator. So I drove this thing for three days. I had the heat on. I thought everything was fine. You know, I was, uh, you know, just playing around with all the, the heat and stuff like that. That's the heat right there. I'll give you a little light. And um, I had the heat on high. Everything seemed to work fine. And uh, I really thought I completely adjusted the um, uh, regulator box right. And I, uh, I wasn't doing it right. So Hamlet's just popping off this stuff right here. This is the old regulator. We're not yep. going to use it because yep. there's a regulator built in here already. Yep. Here. Still in the box. All right. That's bizarre. We're just going to quick MP this. It'll help these bolts come off a little easier. Right there. The MP Metal Protector, one of my favorite aerosols Amsoil makes. It's one of these things that you just, you don't want to leave home without it. Drives moisture out of locks. So if you live somewhere cold or somewhere, uh, you know, where there's a lot of moisture, just amazing what this stuff does. Keeps all that crap out of there. We're trimming the gen wire. So this goes... This one, this one is going to yep. go to the terminal one on here. All right, terminal one on here. And uh, term one... That is the black wire, which is right here. Terminal one and two. And uh, that's going to be this black one here that gets plugged in. So there's the connector. Connector goes down in, just like that. And now we're taking off a spot to put on the power wire, the power wire which is this thick four gauge. And that's going to lower the resistance. So uh, it's not going to bottleneck and basically uh, cause more strain on the alternator and the whole system. So that's going to get slapped there. And this, like we were saying, um, this wire right here is the brown wire and that goes to the gen light. So it goes to this main wire here. This main wire runs all the way back up here into the dash. And that's when your battery's bad or your alternator dies. Then you get that little red gen light. And that was flickering when my, uh, my regulator box wasn't working right. That was flickering because I didn't have the voltage on right. So then I turned the voltage up and then I ended up smoking the, <laughs> smoking the generator. All right, cool. That's all tightened up, good to go. All right, Hamlet made a great point. We're just gonna keep this sucker all in one piece. This and that wire, all those wires, and the gen all together. And now we're just gonna unbolt it there. And if anybody ever wants to throw it back, you can always throw brushes in it and just slap it back to OEM. It's 
All right, so there's three bolts up front. One, two, three down there. Now he's cracking a bolt in the back. So this, uh, this sucker is some weight and uh, they were saying you get a little bit of a weight reduction. Not that, you know, this thing weighs 49.90. Not that a weight reduction is gonna really do anything, but it's probably gonna drop 10 pounds. It's like giving boyth. <laughs> Might even be 20 pounds I think we might be dropping 20 pounds, yeah. What do you think it's weighing? 33? Let's see. Let's see. Give it a one hand curl, I'll tell you what it is. What do you think it is? 28? What are you thinking? 25? be a third fiber. Is it a 35er? It. Wow. I'm good. I don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> wow. It's definitely 30 pounds. Yeah, just set her there. It's good. Yeah, I'd say at least 25, 30 pounds. Yep. All right, and the alternator's got to weigh, what, 10 pounds? So we might be dropping uh, a 20 pound baby. Hey, tell them what we're doing. All right, so this bracket got to be flipped. All right, so flip flop it. So we're this gonna spray one. this little MP metal protector. Boom, good to go. That'll penetrate in there. See if we can crack it. See if it cracks. Got it. Punched right through there. That MP has some punching power. <laughs> when I got this sucker, I went around every single bolt on this little angel, sprayed the hell out of it with MP. <laughs> Everything. I mean, every single bolt. Brackets too pushing the alternate too far out. Uh huh. Flip it. That's amazing how that came off there. Wow. Let's test fit her again. So now I pushed the alternator way back before it was way over here. Yep. Now it's back over to here. And now that bracket still doesn't seem to line up. Looks pretty close. Looks pretty close. You know what you can do? The back side. Yep. I think that's what it is. Yep. So that will go on there. And that'll go on the back side. We'll take a look at it. All right, so we had a discovery. The discovery is when we flip this the other way, it fits on the top like that. Now down here, we're lining up, but we're short on that bolt. So we're gonna need a longer bolt that goes all the way through into that metal uh, manifold piece. Hey Hamlet, I got you a little present, some gummy bears, take the keys. Let's go over to these, this uh, the truck over here. So there's this big old ugly monster over here <laughs> you got the keys just open her up you got to open it from the from the door over here so hamlet's been on the channel doing tons of work he's the official racer on the channel and uh i had to relive a little memories you know i had uh just to just hit the lock it's right there in the door and i had to um just open the back I had to give him some gummy bears. Go ahead and take a look. Let's open her up. There they are. Those are yours. <laughs> take them out and rip it open. Those are officially yours. They're little gummy bears. Oh, nice, dude. Take a look. Some Mopar. Look at that shit. There they are. Proxis 18. Proxis Sports. So these are our 240 Treadwear 1845s. So now we got some street tires. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Day two, and we're back in action. So the battle got uh, postponed yesterday. 
And why did it get postponed? Because of what? This? This bolt was, uh, the stock bolt is way too short. With the new alternator, you need about triple the size. The two inch one was too small, but the three inch one worked. Yep, so we got a three inch one in, and then point to where that goes. All the way down. Right there at the bottom, it goes through the whole side back into this metal bracket. Metal bracket. You and gotta then, flip this bracket also when you put the alternator on. Yep, we had to flip that around, and that way it gave it extra room to reach. And then this looks square, so this is all OEM. That's OEM going through there. This is the pigtail we had to buy. That's the pigtail we had to buy. So, so far we had to buy this, the, the, the bolt to get to reach. We had to buy the pigtail. We had to buy the alternator. And then the one red wire. And that red wire is already connected up to here. And that's uh, connecting it to the starter for super efficiency. We're going to go right here, connect these wires. Yep, so now we're going to be connecting that, and that's to the gen light. So when your battery goes low, or your uh, now if your alternator dies, that light will pop up on the dashboard. So uh, we're going to get these connected. All right, Power. bulletproof. Wire up the battery. All right, little tidying up, just zip tying her up. And that's pretty much it. Everything's looking pretty safe. These are looking good. Everything's all bolted up nice. We got that. Last zip tie there. Everything's good. That's our plug in the side. No wiggles, no shakes. The belt looks nice and square. Let's see what we got. So there's on an angle. Belt's looking pretty square to me. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we start her up. Hopefully the belt stays on and everything runs good. All right, here we go. The first start up with the putty cat with the alternator. This thing here, this is a race cow. <laughs> Let's get it. in the putty cat so this is a vegas day edition so this is daytime take a look downtown that's the stratosphere down there and uh man the car is running like it did before i mean but you know what though i'm telling you that lighter alternator it has less unsprung weight i think we're making another 1.1 wheel so hey we got gains <laughs> so yeah it's running good and uh we're gonna come down here and make a right hand turn on rainbow and uh Beautiful day in Vegas, 58 degrees out, uh, sunny, no clouds in the sky, and the kitty cat's running good. We've had her running now for 13 minutes, so she's pretty warm, and you'll get a chance to hear her go through the gears. Here we go. Here's first gear. 
second gear. just in case something shorts out. <laughs> you just never know with these old cars. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick her back and we're gonna take her racing around a little bit. We're gonna give some people some rides in this thing, share the putty cat. And uh, she's definitely, uh, she's easy going. She's good enough to be used well. So we're gonna really use her good. So we'll see you back next time on Synthetic Overdex. We got Hamlet on the, on the camera. If you're a racer, reach out to Hamlet. He is our race guy in the channel. So if you have a race team, you got a Mazda, you got a 700 wheel horsepower Z06 Corvette, reach out to him. And that way, uh, what you can do is he will help you with all these fluids if you have a race car, that's his expertise. So definitely do that, help him out. And uh, we'll be cruising around, all right? Check out this playlist right here. This is on all the stuff we did to the putty cap. 26, yeah, 26 videos, I think, on this little angel. From the day I got her, the emotions from the engine flush, the pan, transmission fluid change. We're coming back through all the fluids again to do all that. So that's it. We'll see you. Check it out. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.